To the latest on President Biden's campaign trip to North Texas. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Lawrence. And I'm Cynthia Sayera. He landed at DFW Airport less than an hour ago. He walked off the plane, in fact, at 548, got right into the limousine that'll transport him to a private fundraiser. Yeah, Jason Whiteley is live outside the airport right now with new details on tonight's agenda. And Cynthia and Chris, for the those keeping the timeline here, the motorcade just left about 556, 557, probably now leaving the south end of the airport, heading over towards North Dallas uh, right now. Well, you know, what is interesting with this, with any presidential visit, but DFW, the second largest airport, everything, all flights have been suspended, arrivals, departures, and everything while the president's plane landed, while he got out, while the motorcade was sitting here. Those flights are just now starting to kick back up. But let's take a look at the video of the president landing here. Within the last half hour, actually, Air Force One was actually running a few moments late. It landed here, and the president walked off pretty quickly. There weren't a lot of folks in front of him. He just got in the limousine, uh, first one actually out of the airplane, and they just departed just a few moments ago. For context here on zooming out and looking at the wider presidential race, President Biden right now is winning the money race in 2024. His campaign reported raising $53 million last month. He has a lot more cash on hand than Donald Trump does right now. And Biden is going to raise millions more tonight, likely, between these two private fundraisers in Dallas. And some people don't realize, if, if you're not paying close enough attention to this, Texas is not necessarily a red state. It's a political ATM. There's a lot of money for both candidates that come here. And one analyst, a Democratic analyst, his name is Jane Hamilton. She ran Biden's 2020 campaign in Texas. She says Texas is really a green state. Take a listen. Resources are always important in these races. Money does matter. And some people could call Texas a green state because we do understand that it is a money machine. So candidates are going to come here and they're going to raise money. We'll continue to see that happen. And an interesting note about fundraising, the Biden campaign really bragging about this one. There was a report the other day about several big they're called bundlers. They're people who really fundraise a lot of money for different folks. But several big ones from the Nikki Haley campaign have switched over to Joe Biden, helping the Biden reelection campaign rather than Trump. That is certainly good news for Biden. It's not good news for Trump. We'll see what happens in the money race uh, as these weeks and months continue towards November. But, you know, after these two private fundraisers tonight, it's also unusual. The president is going to spend the night here in Dallas before he returns here to uh, Air Force One and to DFW Airport tomorrow morning to fly to Houston for another set of fundraisers. But as far as the planes go out here, they're starting to take off again here in the next few minutes with the motorcade already off the airfield. Back to you guys. All right, thanks for bringing us up to speed, Jason.